Hey there, how to import SVG icon files inside DaVinci Resolve? Let's see how it's done. Alright, so as you can see here, I've got an empty timeline and there's nothing in the timeline and the media pool except for the timeline itself. Now, the first thing to note is that we do not import the SVG file inside the media pool. How we import it is we go to the Fusion tab right here. Then again, we go to the Fusion tab at the top, click on it, go to Import and then select SVG. Then select whatever SVG file you have, open it, select the height and the width of the file, hit OK and then there you have it. It's inside the Fusion tab. Like I said, in the beginning, my timeline was empty, yet it added a Fusion composition layer directly and a media out node. Now, if your timeline is not empty and if you have elements inside the timeline, how you import it is you just go to the effects tab, go to effects, import a Fusion composition layer right in here and then go to the Fusion composition layer in the Fusion tab and you'll have the media out node and then follow the same process. Go to Fusion, go to import, go to SVG, select whatever SVG you have, select the width and the height, hit OK and then connect this node to the media out node and you're good to go. So those were the two ways of importing the SVG file. Now, if you just want to import the file and add some transition in the edit page, you're good to go. But now I'm going to show you guys a few more customizations to the SVG file, how to do them. First thing that we'll see is we'll simply double click on the SVG file. Now I'll sh change the view to this so you can see all the nodes. Now, if you see inside this file, there's lots of nodes. What are these nodes? Let's see those. Now the first nodes right here are the paths right so if you select any node as you can see here these green lines will get enabled right so if i disable this path see this this is the line then we've got path number two which is just this little box right here then path number three which is very similar big box then the smaller box then path five is the whole magnet itself the outer one then the inner magnet this dark part and then we've got path 7 which is this little electricity button and path 7.2 which is this one the bigger one and path 8 is the inner one and path 8.2 is again the inner one of this electricity icon so these are all the paths then the background nodes are basically the colors right so let's go with path 1 right and if we change the color to let's say something like green so see path 1 color has been changed and similarly it applies to every single thing Right. So if I go to part background number seven and change it from dark red to, let's say, dark blue. Right. So if you want to change the color of any of the path of the SVG, you can do it here and then come all the merge nodes, which will basically merge all of the paths and make it one node. So that's basically the structure of SVGs. Now you can also ungroup these by right clicking on this little group and click on ungroup and you've got them outside of that little box right there. Now two things to note. First thing, let's say you want to add some kind of effect to this SVG icon. Let's say a glow effect, right? How do you add it? You go to the last node of this whole structure, which is this merge node. And then I'll press shift space and I'll type glow hit enter and the glow has been added something like this. Yeah. So I think this looks fine. Now, the problem that happens is that let's say I go to the edit page and then below this composition layer, let's say there's a very bright color. I'm going to go with white. Yeah. So I'll take in a solid color and make it white. Now, if I zoom in, as you can see here, this line is visible. Same goes for this little part. Now, why is this visible? If you go back to the fusion page and you see this icon, the canvas of the icon is very close to the icon itself, right? And that's why the glow that is spreading is not going outside the canvas and you can see this line visible inside the edit page if it's on a soft color or a very bright color. Yeah, so how to fix this? You go back to the Fusion tab and after this merge node, just add in a transform node right here. So this little icon that you see is a transform node. Just click on that and it will get added and simply adjust the size of it. We'll reduce the size in the transform node like this and now if you go back, the problem has gone. The line isn't visible. So make sure that your SVG icon isn't exactly close to the canvas. Add in a transform node and reduce the size. So the effects that you add like drop shadow or glow are perfectly visible. And now the second important thing to note is that SVG icons don't need the files, right? Once you import the SVG icon inside DaVinci Resolve, you don't really need the base file that is on your PC because these are all shapes, right? So once you have imported these files and you want to share it with your friend or change it to another system, you don't really need to send the SVG icon file which is on your system because it has already 
been imported inside the project. So all you have to do is share the project file and not the SVG icon file on your PC itself. So let's say that file gets deleted as well, right? No issue because it has already been imported as a shape inside DaVinci Resolve. So that's a great advantage when you're using SVG files. So those were the few things to note and that was how you can import an SVG file inside DaVinci Resolve and customize it. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, make sure you like the video. It really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. I post such kind of DaVinci Resolve tutorials, how to tech videos, tech reviews, I stream games occasionally and I post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shorts. I also have a website where I post weekly blogs about all of the stuff that I just mentioned and a gumroad shop where you can get access to motion graphic elements at a super affordable price. And that brings us to the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.